Hey friends, in this video, I will show you how we can export all Active Directory users from PowerShell script. This PowerShell script is very powerful and this will export all Active Directory users and their attribute values, whatever that you want. So I just created a PowerShell script. I will just show you and uh, I have also written a blog where you can just go and you can check the uh, PowerShell script over here in folias.com this is a PowerShell script that I created and in this PowerShell script it is just calling a path where uh, where data will be saved and uh, in the next one this is just calling the current date of the server where you are just executing the PowerShell script now this will just create a csv file with this path and uh, underscore log date dot csv so this will just call the log date so the current date and time will be added with this file name so i'm just calling underscore dollar log date now next is the import active directory module and uh, this will just call the active directory module and uh, the dc equal to info alias dot local so this is the distinguished name of my domain. Now this will just create empty array over here and then it will just create a for each loop. So this will just call the distinguished name from this one because this is just uh, stored dc equal to infolias, infolias comma dc equal to local. Now uh, this is a new variable. This variable is just calling a Active Directory PowerShell command to search the Active Directory users and their properties. Now, add users to array all ad users plus equal to dollar users. Now, this will just create a list of the users with their first name, last name, display name, and user logout name. So, this is the manual things which you have written, but this is the Active Directory attributes values from the users this will be fetched and uh, these all are the details will be written uh, in the csv file and uh, it is also calling a label password never expiry so it, this will call the password never expire attributes of the user properties now this will save the uh, file inside the export dash csv this is a powershell command to exporting the values inside in the csv file so now we will go on uh, our uh, active directory and uh, we'll see how this powershell is just working in this test environment so you can just follow this powershell script for uh, exporting the users now i'm just going to open the powershell script inside the powershell isc i'm just executing it as a run as administrator now I'm just opening the file PowerShell script which created earlier and uh, I'm going to execute it. So this PowerShell script has been executed and reports has been generated in this path. I will go on the C drive and uh, AD script and uh, this is the date i am going to open this file inside the libreoffice even you can open it inside the excel or uh, notepad as well now i am going to click on ok and ok here you can see the first name, last name, display name of the users, user logon name, user principal name, and uh, description. If you have mentioned any description, so you can just fetch the descriptions as well. Here, here I haven't mentioned the email address of any account, and uh, this is the distinguished name of the user where this account exists in inside your active directory in any organizational unit it will just fetch and it will provide the distinguished name when created so this has been created uh, on um, on 4th of september 
and uh, last password set this will show the password which you have set for the account now password expiry there is no any user is going to be expired with the, the password is going to be expired so this is showing the blank user must change password next logon this is also not applicable that's why I am unable to see this option and the password never expired so here you can see the password showing is never expired I will just cross check the account and the account status is also showing the disabled and last logon so only this account has been logged on so we can fetch these all details with this PowerShell script and if you want to copy the if you want to make the changes in the in this script so you can just go on infoelias.com and here you can copy the powershell script and make the changes accordingly as per your domain and as per your path where you want to export the details even you can add the new attribute values as well over here by mentioning the level equal to and the attributes like whatever that you want suppose you if you want to export the postal code of the user as well so you can just mention over here at the rate level equal to postal code and the attributes will be called from the users user properties so I was just saying that we need to just cross check the user account which has been exported with their values suppose if I'm going to check the account test this is showing like disabled so I will check this account test 2 I will go on the active directory here you can see this account is disabled and we are just also checking in this report it is also mentioning that this account is disabled so we can just cross check the details whatever that you have exported through the PowerShell script as well Thank you for watching this video.